You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hatcher versus Scott, Blake, and Sneed. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Hatcher, yes, you sir. confessed that at the time you conceived your two-year-old son, Josiah, you had sexual relations with three men. Now, you don't want your son to suffer for your mistakes, so you've requested paternity testing on all three men. Yes, Your Honor. All right, now, Mr. Scott, you claim Ms. Hatcher led you to believe you were the only potential father of this child until she told you in anger That's that true, she needed a DNA test. Yes, Your Honor, that is true. Mr. Blake. Yes, ma'am. You claim there's no way you're the child's father, and you're going to prove that today. Yes, ma'am. All right, the third possible father, Mr. Sneed, says he wasn't even aware of the possibility until Ms. Hatcher's son was almost two years old. So, Ms. Hatcher, please explain to the court how you got yourself in this situation. Yes, Your Honor. Um, at the time, I had sex with three different men around the same time my son conceived. I did have a five-and-a-half-month fling with Mr. Scott, and I also had... No, Your Honor, that is not true. It was just sex, period. That's what a fling is. Not to me. Not to me. So, please, keep going, Ms. Hatcher. I uh, also had a seven-and-a-half-year relationship with my ex, and I had a one-night stand with him around the time. And I also had a one-night stand with Mr. Blake. Um, I have a calendar right here. Oh, that will help us. Jerome, please hand me Ms. Hatcher's evidence. Thank you. You're welcome. As we see here on the calendar, the yellow represents you, Mr. Scott. For Mr. Blake, <laughs> that's represented in the blue. We're looking at the window of conception. Okay. Mr. Sneed is in green. And then outlined in red, as you can see, is the window of conception. So, green, we have Mr. Sneed, your ex, you say you had sex with him on the 23rd of December. Yes, Your Honor. One time. Did you use protection? No, we did not. Um... How much did he pay? Excuse me, Mr. Scott? Yeah, you right. gonna be respectful in this courtroom. <laughs> Your Honor, this is not... This is him. He is a disrespectful man. He is very ignorant. He is... He's all that. To me and my son, just recently, he knows that we don't have a work refrigerator in a stove. And he comes over to my house and he still has the same attitude, nasty attitude that he has, that he has now. You admitted in court today that you had a five and a half month fling with a gentleman that can look across the aisle at you and ask you, how much does someone pay for your sexual services? That's the reason why I wasn't with him, Your Honor. That's the reason why I, after the five and a half months, I seen Five him... and a half months is too long. Well, you know... <laughs> Right. So, you know, in this courtroom, we just keep it real. Now, Mr. Scott, I want to understand from your perspective why you are doubtful. <laughs> okay, I'm doubtful because she said out of her own mouth, DNA test. Your I Honor. didn't know nothing about her situation. When she came and told me she was pregnant, I believed her. Okay. Because she's a woman who knows her body, who's supposed to know her body, who knows what she does. So, when honor. the baby was born, were you in the hospital? Yes, ma'am. I was there for... I was and there... did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, ma'am, I did. I have it right here. I signed the birth Jerome, certificate. Jerome, hand I've me that I've been buying diapers. I've been buying play pens. I've been taking care of the side, letting him come to my house on football Sundays. I watch... Your I spend Honor, the whole... that man is not doing... <laughs> Your Honor, that man so, is ma not doing any of that. Okay. I'm not doing it he anymore. Ever person, since I found period, out that Honor, I don't I'm think sorry. he's mine, he I have stopped. He is an ignorant person. That young man has my last name, Your Honor, and it could be not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be... Might be his, might oh. be Mr. Sneed. It is not okay. fair to him. So, you're listed here as father. Yes, ma'am. At what point did you begin to doubt whether or not you were Josiah's biological father? Had a situation where we had to go to court. She said in open court, we need to get a DNA test because she was in fear that I was going to try to take the Josiah from her. And in your mind, that was the first time... Hold on. I was in fear. That was the first that's time the first you time ever, that I ever questioned heard paternity. Question when she mentioned okay, DNA. Okay, that's a lie, hold Your on, Honor. Hold on, that's hold on. That's a lie. I added up the dates and everything. I thought I conceived in January. To find out I didn't conceive in January, I conceived in December. So then I was like, oh, man. You know, I came to him 
like a woman, and I said, you know what, Josiah might not well, be yours. Why didn't you just win? Josiah might not. He's a, he, win. He, he, Josiah might not be yours. When did you do that? And he was like, oh, I could have figured that because Josiah, the way Josiah was looking, and he came to the hospital. He looked at Josiah up and down. I'm talking about. He was checking Josiah's ears. He was checking Josiah's legs, his feet. Your everything. Honor. He searched Your Josiah honor. from head and toe before he signed that birth certificate. Your Honor. Your Honor. And then after I brought my son home after having a C-section, I sat there. He came in the house after he done got him a girlfriend. He came in the house and he said, my girlfriend said that. Josiah might not be mine. And Josiah wasn't home two days yet. Your Honor, do you That's know... That's what he did. Your Honor, do you know that and this is the you... second lady, Your Honor, that has come to me, told me that I am the father of her child. Sign of birth certificate, 99% wasn't mine. It is clear why there's doubt in this situation. Now, that is a fact. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You have to understand why all these men are doubtful. I'm Mr. Blake. Yes, Your Honor. Did I... you sleep with Miss Hatcher on the 26th of December? That's the day after Christmas. You should remember that. <laughs> we got a hotel room that night. It's a possibility it could be mine if it's mine. I don't have a problem with taking care Was of mine. Was it protected sex on that day? I, we had a little alcohol, but I think so, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Hatcher, do you remember whether or not you two used protection when you... Yes, I do. Well, first time, we did use protection. And then the second time, we did. Your Honor, it wasn't no second time. We had sex twice. I only remember one time. I know I wasn't that drunk, Your Honor. Now, why do, are you doubtful? It was a one-night stand. So, you feel like just because it was a one-night stand, your odds are very slim. And he also told me that he made his I first child off a of one-night stand. I was about to say, it's plenty of people That's in this world. That's what he told me. Yeah, he said I it possibly that, can but be. But, Your Honor, um, if the child's mine, I don't have a problem with taking care of mine. That's good to know. Thank you. Ms. Hatcher, now, you say you have reason to believe that Mr. Blake is the child's father. Could be. He could be a possibility because the way my son is built, the way he's growing up. He How many people you got to test before you find out? Okay. Well, as many as it takes in this courtroom. As many as it takes. <laughs> you say your son, you feel like he's built like Mr. Blake. Well, he's he got broad shoulders like Mr. Blake, and he has, you know, he, his hands are thick, his feet are flat. I really don't know Mr. Blake that well. Okay. So you also say you have good reason to believe that Mr. Sneed is the father. You see similarities yes. there. Yes, I do. In his feet. Explain. In his feet, um, he has flat feet like Mr. Sneed. Um, I thought he... he had the flat feet. I know how this may look. The only thing I'm trying to do is just try to find out who my baby father is. Because I know <laughs> that it's hard. I had moved from a house to having a car to a, a, a apartment with no stove, no working refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? And this man, you know he's homeless, and I let him stay out of my house at night. I don't want him to be my, my baby's father because he's 43 years old. He don't want to work. But you slept with him without yeah. protection. Yeah, I did. So, at this point, the insults are irrelevant. Yeah, it is. Can I... It is, but can I... Can I defend myself in a small I've way? I've already defended you. No, if you would listen I'm to stop in a talking, way. you would already see. No, You're not on trial. No, you don't need to defend yourself. No, ma'am, I have children. I have three listen, kids. Listen, no. you don't need to defend yourself, sir. That's not sir. the point, ma'am. I have three kids that are watching me. And that woman just said something about my character. And I have a right to say something myself towards my what, character. Uh, what about your character? She just said that I'm this and that, I'm this and that. I don't take care of my kids. Ask what he does if for I don't, If I don't take care of my kids, Call them. You don't take care Call of your kids, and you know Call you don't. Them. You don't pay child Call them and ask them what they did. Call them and ask them what kind of father He's I horrible. am. It's horrible. And I'm going to tell you something else. And it's not else, about your that. Honor. It's about I'm you I'm gonna tell you being something a man else. and stepping up to the I'm not like plate. her. I'm not demeaning her. I'm going to let not... you all run your own case. No, man. And see what kind of results you get after this, because I got the real one. So go ahead. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no, demeaning. Go ahead. No, I'm you not. You said you want to defend yourself. Run no, your case. I, Run your I, case. What I want to say is that I'm not demeaning her in any way. She made some mistakes. 
and she needs to own up to him because I'm the victim. That's I'm the why one. I'm here. No, you're this not. You're here, you're here, here bashing the man. You've done it to me. I don't do it. You've done it to me. I don't do nothing. You've done it to me. I'm the one who signed the birth certificate that might not be mine. The two other dudes you slept with. Be honest with me. Guys, calm down, please. Truth be told, when this man stepped up and signed the birth certificate, then really that should have been, a, that's it. Because yeah, that's what yeah. babies deserve. Their mother and their father in the hospital when they're born, <laughs> signing the birth certificate and living their life. Not two years later, still some here arguing. That's why. With eeny, meeny, miny, and no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Talking Your about. Honor. We don't know this, and she did this, and he did this, talking about nothing. Reality I'm sorry, no, Your Honor. I what really I'm am. trying to get to is why you have doubt. I understand why he has doubt. I understand why he has doubt. Mr. Sneed couldn't be with us today. But given this calendar, I know why he'll have doubt. This is what I really want to do. Just find out who his father is. And what is. are your hopes? I'm hoping that Eddie is not the father. I'm hoping that... It's the other two men. Which one of the other two men? And the only so that's reason... your hope? Yes. That is my hope. Why are you I'm emotional? A... What do you feel? Because, you know, I'm, I'm ashamed that I'm here for this for my son. Because I would have never thought I'd be a kind of woman like this. It wasn't like I was in a relationship with none of these. But I feel that I should know. And you know? now you've gotten yourself centered back in the place where you know this is really not about you. It's about yourself. It's your not son. about me. It's not. And that's, that's the place where we can make change. Because this courtroom is about children. Y'all want to go out here today and destroy your lives? That's nothing I can do. But I'm not going to sit by and watch you destroy Josiah's. And it'd be better for us to get, like, our, my GED, because I, once I find out who his father is, I'd be able to go back to school. I'd be able to get financial help, you know. So you'd uh, like to get your GED? Yes, ma'am. I would like to get my GED. Because, look... <laughs> I understand as a mother how difficult it is, period, okay? I'm getting people's hopes, and I want to know what your hopes are today, Mr. Scott, as it relates to Josiah. My hopes, period, are that we find out who his father is, whether it is me, him, or him. I want to know, because if he's mine, I want to be with him. I got three kids. I would give, I would give my last for mine I was in my land for my kids. And if that boy is mine, he gonna know he got love. When I'm around him, you best believe there's no negativity in his life. If I feel like we gotta yell, I will leave. I'm not finna do anything around that boy. Good. And the passion you're showing for this young man is exactly why this courtroom exists. <laughs> because we want people to understand how important a child is. And, and I know that. And, and, and that... I will give you a chance to speak They're on the that. Future. How passionate you are about a child. Now, Mr. Blake, yes, sure what are your hopes today? If the child mine, I'll take care of mine. But if it's not, I'm sorry. Have you met Josiah? Never. Never, ever? Nope. I don't live in the same town as them. Um, I've so, moved. let me ask you this. If he is, in fact, your biological child, would you like the opportunity to meet him today? Sure. Good. Well, Jerome, I think it's time for the results. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Mr. Sneed was unable to join us today, but he has been tested. In the case of Hatcher v. Scott Blake Sneed, pertaining to whether Mr. Sneed is the biological father of two-year-old Josiah Scott, Mr. Sneed is not Josiah's father. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Hatcher v. Scott Blake Sneed, pertaining to whether Mr. Blake or Mr. Scott is the biological father of two-year-old Josiah Scott, when it comes to Mr. Blake, you are not 
the father. I'm sorry. When it comes to Mr. Scott, You are the father. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. You happy? Thank you. That means he has my name and I don't have to change it. Right. Thank you. That's good. You now lost he can a meet year his with him Now doubt. he can meet his brothers and sisters. Listen. Now you two have to help Josiah. You have to help one another and help this child. Why is it you can't be adult and I don't want to hear anything else. I want to tell you something. You all have to love Josiah more than you dislike one another. You have to figure out what? I'm tired of all want, this eye rolling. I'm tired of all this, time. like, I don't know what I'm talking about. This doesn't have to happen again. And you don't have to perpetuate this whole nightmare onto your child. And as long as you disrespect him, and as long as you disrespect her, then Josiah is going to pay for it. Now, you want to roll your eyes, you want to go home, sit your butt down somewhere and think about what I said. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I am furious. You all sitting up here acting like kids. That's not right. Beautiful little boy. You telling me he ain't got no stove. This little boy ain't got no refrigerator. Right. And you sitting up talking this nonsense. Court is adjourned. I'll see you in my chambers. This court is about children, but this court is also about empowering fathers and mothers. So I made some calls and I want to do something for you so you can make sure you're doing what's necessary for him.